हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बोर्स करेस्पंडेंस प्रिंसिपल लेट्स बिगेन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम थ्योरी मस्ट गिव द सेम रिजल्ट एज क्लासिकल थ्योरी बट द कंडीशन इज दैट इन अप्रोप्रिएट क्लासिकल लिमिट is used quantum theory must give the same result as classical theory in appropriate classical limit explanation let us consider hydrogen atom in case of hydrogen atom there are one electron and that electron revolve around the nucleus according to classical theory when an electron revolving around the nucleus it radiates energy is the nucleus electron revolving around the nucleus then it radiated energy energy radiated according to that classical theory so that uh, radiated energy a particular frequency let uh, new be the frequency of such radiation that the electron have mass small m radius distance of that electron from the nucleus smaller and it revolve around that uh, nucleus with the velocity v at equilibrium condition the electrostatic force is equal to the centripetal force the electrostatic force of attraction in between electron and the nucleus f of e 1 by 4 pi epsilon not charge of uh, nucleus into charge of electron e into e e square divided by the distance between these two r square is equal to the centripetal force mv square divided by r 1r 1r cancel out therefore m v square is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not e square divided by r equation number 1 according to bohr's postulate which is bohr's quantization condition electron revolve around the nucleus in a certain permitted orbit and that uh, certain permitted orbit is defined as the angular momentum of electron which revolving around that of nucleus is integral multiple of s by 2 pi so the angular momentum mv r is equal to ns by 2 pi whereas n is an integer therefore v is equal to ns divided by 2 pi mr now the value of v is substituted in equation number 1 the value of v is substituted next simplifying it we obtain the value of r r is equal to 4 pi epsilon not n square h square divided by 4 pi square m e square this is the value of that radius next the value of that velocity now we put the value of r in equation number 2 that r value is put here in that equation number 2 therefore we obtain the value of v r value is put here and simplifying this we obtain v is equal to e square divided by 2 epsilon not ns the value of r and value of v but uh, our aim is to calculate the frequency of such radiated energy now the frequency of that radiation is given by frequency is equal to reciprocal of time period and that time period is equal to displacement divided by velocity 
so here the displacement is equal to 2 pi r the displacement uh, the distance covered by such electron is the circumference of that circle which is 2 pi r 2 pi r divided by velocity v so nu is equal to v by 2 pi r here the value of v and r is substituted the value of v e square divided by 2 epsilon naught n s then the value of r 4 pi epsilon naught n square h square divided by 4 pi square m e square simplify it we obtain nu is equal to m e to the power fourth divided by 4 epsilon naught square n q s q what is that expression that is uh, the orbital frequency this is the expression for this is the expression of orbital frequency orbital frequency of electron let that electron revolving in nth orbit in nth orbit according to classical theory according to classical theory the frequency of that electron whereas that electron revolve around that of nucleus in nth orbit then the radiation emitted by that electron is given by m e to the power 4 divided by 4 epsilon naught square n q h q according to classical theory. Next come to quantum approach according to quantum theory the energy radiate when there will be the transition of electron in an atom either that the electron from lower energy level to higher energy level or from higher energy level to lower energy level means there will be any transition at that situation energy radiated if the electron from that higher energy level to lower energy level then it is radiated energy that is energy radiated similarly when that electron absorb energy then it is transformed from lower energy level to higher energy level means it acquire energy therefore that energy radiate will be the energy difference in between these two and it has a particular frequency let nu dash be the frequency of such radiated energy let electron jumps from higher energy level that is n2 to the lower energy level n1 then the frequency of radiation that expression we have already derived when we are dealing with Bohr's model of hydrogen atom. So, that the frequency is equal to m e to the power fourth divided by 8 epsilon naught square s q in that of bracket 1 divided by n 1 square minus 1 divided by n 2 square n 1 lower orbit n 2 higher orbit let we put n 1 is equal to n and n 2 is equal to n plus 1 whereas uh, n is very large as comparison to that of 1 therefore in place of n 2 we substitute n plus 1 in place of n 1 we substitute n taking the LCM n square pull into n plus 1 square 
that first term n plus 1 whole square minus n square simplifying it n plus 1 square as n square plus 1 plus 2n minus n square n square n square cancelled out 2n plus 1 divided by n square whole into n plus 1 whole square since n is very very greater than 1 therefore we can neglect 1 in that 2n plus 1 and 1 in n plus 1 therefore that expression now changed nu dash is equal to m e to the power fourth divided by 8 epsilon naught square s q into 2n divided by n to the power fourth here n square into n square n fourth as we neglect 1 why as we taken n is very very greater than 1 now that expression 2 8 cancelled one n one n first one n one n cancel n q finally the result in new dash is equal to this is the expression this is the expression for the frequency of emitted radiation in quantum theory. equation number 6 and equation number 5 look these two equations the results are same when these two results will be same when we consider higher energy level from equation 5 and 6 from equation 5 and 6 we have nu is equal to nu dash what it indicates classical and quantum theories of hydrogen atom makes identical prediction in case of very large quantum numbers hence classical and quantum theories of hydrogen atom make identical prediction in case of very large quantum number in a classical theory and quantum theory we showcase the radiated energy expression both are same which is called which is known as Bohr's correspondence principle Bohr correspondence principle in large quantum number the quantum theory corresponds to that of classical theory. So, here with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of Bohr's correspondence principle.
quantum theory must give same result as classical theory in appropriate classical limit. We explained it by taking hydrogen atom. According to classical theory, the electron revolve around the nucleus and it radiate energy and the frequency of such radiation we can calculate. The frequency of such radiation is calculated classically. Next, by using quantum theory, the energy radiate when there will be the transition of electron in an atom. Here we consider uh, the energy transition from higher energy level to that of lower energy level. So, energy is radiated uh, and that uh, radiated energy have frequency nu dash and that uh, obtained the frequency nu dash according to Bohr's theory of uh, hydrogen model. We consider it and taking uh, lower energy level n 1 as n and higher energy level n 2 as n plus 1 whereas n is very large as comparison to that of 1 and the mathematical uh, procedure and finally, we showcase the classical and quantum theories of hydrogen atom make identical prediction in case of very large quantum number which is uh, proposed by Bohr and it is called as Bohr's correspondence principle. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up the session. Thank you.